What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brush Strokes, and today I thought I'd show you a little bit of gold leafing. Um, I've only done gold leafing like a handful of times, but it's worked every time for me. So let's just give you a rundown of what I use. Um, first thing is the gold leaf. I got this from LA Gold Leaf. Uh, it's imitation gold leaf. And this is the transfer style too. Um, they make loose or transfer. Um, I highly suggest getting the transfer. Um, the transfer means that the gold leaf is actually backed on a piece of paper. So, you know, it's attached to the paper. So it's easy to transfer it onto the image as opposed to loose leaf, um, which is not back to the paper and it's loose and it just kind of flows and blows all around and you can get wrinkles in your gold leaf. So transfer leaf, you'll see it here in a little while, um, why it's the best. Um, this is the only leaf adhesive that I've used. It's the SEP Gliding Workshop leaf, leaf adhesive. Uh, most people say that, that ducks, Ducks is the best leaf adhesive, um, and apparently this is made by ducks, so I've had good success with this. So um, I, whatever you get um, and use for your adhesive, make sure you read the directions on here. Um, this has to sand 600 grit, which I did. I'll be working on this tumbler here that I clear coated, and sanded down with 600 grit, and. Uh, you want to always apply this thin with a nat nat uh, natural hair brush, um, like a pinstriping brush. So, and then right here it says avoid puddling, get it as smooth as possible. Um, and then it rem remains open one to three hours. So, I've had success with this stuff. Um, I usually lay the leaf about, about a, right at about an hour. So... Uh, the brush I use, I just have a Mac Zero. I don't even know what kind of brush this is. It's just like a lettering brush, maybe. But it's just kind of flat on the end. Any any kind of pinstriping brush with natural hair will work. And we got some mineral spirits here. And then I got my new tool here that I'm excited to try out. These are the Spun Leaf Turners uh, for turning gold leaf. Um, these are really, really cool. Uh, I got opted for the aluminum ones. They do make these in resins too, and you can choose what you want in the resin. You can get like all different colors of flake. You can get them with gold leaf. You can actually get like, uh, money shredded up inside, you know, plastic resin, uh, spun leaf. I'll put a link for these down below in the description, uh, but they're really cool. They come in half inch. Uh, then one inch and one and a half inch. They come with these sweet little uh, foam backing plates. The foam backing is just a sticky right to this. And then these are Trizac pads. This is a 3000. They come with the 3000, a set of 3000, and a set of 5000. And these are just hook and loop on there. So, And they do sell replacement kits of the pads too. So if you ever you use them enough to wear them out and you can always replace them. Uh, if you don't have the money to get a set of these, cause these are uh, $85 in the aluminum and then they're over a hundred something in the resin casting. Um, you can do like I did previously. Um, I just took some wood dowels. You can get these hardware store, maybe even Walmart even. And I just cut down the wood dowels. Um, then I cut some Velcro some sticky velcro just stuck it right on there and then i just took some some used trizac pads that i had 5000 and 3000 and i just cut some circles out of them made my own little turners these actually work really good um you know obviously you can you can see it's kind of hard to cut a perfect circle out of these little foam pads um but the spun leaf, these are laser cut or something, or punched, but they're super clean. Um, all the work I've seen done with these looks a little bit cleaner than with the wood dowels. But, you know, you could always, you know, just use these wood dowels 
and order a set of pads too and slap them on there and then you got the laser cut pad too so, but we will get to laying some some glue here so get this opened up this on as thin as possible too so now I just got like a piece of junk mail shiny stuff here to palette my glue on because we want this to be thin so I like to just palette it like a like pinstripe paint you know just kind of thin it out get it all over the brush and then where we'll get you zoomed in while we do the rest of this and then uh as you can see here i actually have some masking we're just going to put a border around this is actually an image transfer that i did which i will have a video coming up on soon on how i do image transfers i'm playing around with a few different ways on how to do those um, and then i do have a video that'll be coming out soon too on how to overlay vinyl onto an image like this to get it lined up perfectly how you want it so stay tuned for that video as well so we'll just want to start by just getting some glue on there i like to kind of go all over the place at first while my brush is kind of wet and that way it doesn't puddle up so we'll just kind of go around and now my brush is starting to dry up a little bit. You can kind of feel it. So now we'll just kind of go around and just get all this glue spread out. can kind of see how I'm getting those lines I can tell it's a little wet here so I'm just trying to get, pull some of that glue up here where it's a little bit more dry I'm just kind of going around trying to get make sure I get a, up against this whole edge of this vinyl masking here. I'm trying to make sure I get this really smooth too along the edges. That way it doesn't pull up. So anywhere we can see you know brush marks we want to kind of smooth it out kind of 
kind of got to glue a little heavy here. You can see how many brush marks there are. But... The stuff does kind of level itself out a little bit too after a little bit, so. As you can see this side right here, you can see a lot more brush marks, but those will kind of go away. On this side, you see kind of a lot less and looks a little bit smoother. But today I do have my window, big window open right here in front of us. And I'm going to actually face this towards it. That'll help accelerate the dry time. So I'm going to let this sit for, I'll set my stopwatch for 45 minutes. And then we will come back and check this. And I will show you how we go about checking it. And just to be, what I'll do here, since I got some vinyl mask. We'll put a little bit of glue right here too. And this can be our little testing area. Get nice and smooth and even, just like we did where we'll actually be gluing. So I will let this sit and turn you back on in about 45 minutes. All right, we're back and it's been a little, about 45 minutes. Um, how you check the glue, just take your knuckle and run it across there. So, you hear that squeakiness? That's what you want. You want it to be a little bit dry, but still a little sticky. So, so here we've got our gold transfer leaf it's on this backing so it's not just a easy a piece floating around so what we will do we will want to get this actually turn it this way we'll just want to lay this on here I'm just kind of let it lay Go down, go around, press it down. One thing I did forget is I like using these, these are for like putting vinyl on. She's little cotton gloves. And push this down. Now, normally I've always taken my vinyl off first before I lay the gold leaf. This is the first time I've left the vinyl masking down. So we are going to see how well this works. So I'm going to take my fingernail and go around this little edge in here. Actually... Peel this off, and we're gonna actually head outside because this gets messy, and we'll get all this off of here. And of course, I missed a spot. So what we can do? I'm just peel a little piece off, and lay it on there. All right, I'm gonna cut you off. Get my body cam on, and we will head outside. All right, so now we're outside. I'm just going to look this all over again. Make sure everything's pressed down really good. And you can either use, like, a makeup brush, or, like I said, these kind of work good, these little cotton gloves, but... We want to go ahead and start knocking this gold leaf off of here.
Alright, there we go. Looks like we missed a little spot here. We can touch that up when we get inside. Yeah, we'll call that good for now. Alright, we'll get headed back inside now. Alright, so it looks like it peeled up a little bit along this edge here, so... Let's take that sheet. Still had some transfer leaf on it. Looks like we got it. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's another little spot, couple spots. Alright, looks like we got that cleaned up. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove this and we will do some turning. Take my exacto here to get this inner one out. Looks like we had some more peeling right there. So. This is a good thing about the transfer leaf when, when you got little issues like that. You can always just take your little piece and just press it right on there. The glue should grab it. If there's glue there still. There we go. I just go around the edges like this just to clean up anything 
Any of that excess build up on these edges. And when the edges aren't perfectly smooth, like right here, it looks like maybe I didn't get enough glue or the glue dried up right there. That's when your pinstriping can come in handy. So I don't know that I'm good enough yet, but I do not want to try it on top of this gold leaf. So there we go. Now let's do some turning. So I'm just going to do this by hand. I'm actually going to take this glove off. It's a little hard to turn. There we go. There's our first one. with a little more pressure. There we go. Now I'm just gonna match these up, all just barely overlapping each, each circle. And as you can see, I'm only going about a half of a turn. Pretty cool. This thing is getting kind of loaded up. Almost, almost stabbed myself there. Just wipe this off on a paper towel. All good.
If you notice, I'm only going about a quarter of a turn now. Seems to be all it needs. get this cleared and then I also forgot one of my water slide transfers so I'll get that added and get this baby cleared that's all I had for you today till the next one keep those brushes stroking <laughs>